man, I've missed you so much. A day of homecoming for 139 men and women of the Alabama National Guard today. The 226th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade returned to Fort Whiting after being deployed for nine months in Afghanistan. And Fox News reporter Michael Brannon was there. He's joining us in the studio. Michael, I bet you needed some tissue. I did. It was a very, very touch, touching ceremony. The 226 Maneuver Enhancement Brigade has been working hand in hand with the Afghan government for the past nine months. Here's some video right here of the men and women in action. Its mission to hand off the improvements it created to the government and the people, leaving it in a better way than it was found. Today, that mission was successfully accomplished as the brigade returned home. It was a triumphant celebration, one that will be remembered for the rest of their lives, for both the families that were home and for the soldiers that were returning. After nearly a year in Afghanistan, the soldiers were greeted by loved ones, some they had never even met before. It was a waiting game this morning at Fort Whiting as the 226 Maneuver Enhancement Brigade attempted to make its way home, but not without a flat tire first. The hour and a half delay didn't stop the anticipation of its arrival. He's worth the wait. It's it's been it's been hard, and we you know we've had to deal through deal with a lot and uh, come through a lot of obstacles. But but he's a uh, he's totally worth it. We've been married for a little over a year. We got married in December of 2012. He uh, left on our four month wedding anniversary. Brothers, sisters, moms, dads, sons, and daughters, and even man's best friend eagerly awaited for their loved ones to return home. I missed her a lot. You know, she's been gone for a year now, and I'm just ready for her to get back home. I just, I'm just blessed that she's coming home. All of them is coming home. I missed him a lot. I'm so glad he's coming home. I love him a lot. He's the best dad I could ever have. I missed him really a lot, and it's the first time he's been away from me. I feel happy that he's coming home. And uh, we haven't seen him in nine months, so I'm going to get really happy. Suzanne Lowry and her three girls, two-year-old Carly, nine-year-old Nicole, and 11-year-old Amy, didn't know their dad was coming home until this morning. You didn't know until this morning? No, uh, we were sitting there eating breakfast in the hotel, and I looked up on the TV and I saw the news, and it said 226, um, MEB is coming home, and I was like, I was like isn't it my dad in, in 226? With the surprise comes the gift of a newborn baby boy, Sergeant Lowry's first boy named affectionately after his dad. He has a new baby that he's not missed yet, so he's coming home to a brand new baby that's uh, will be four weeks old tomorrow. Wow. What a Valentine's Day gift. This is a wonderful gift, so we're very blessed to be able to have him coming home and the rest of the unit coming home all safe. After a much-awaited delay, the buses were in sight. Woo -hoo! Welcome back! And the crowd erupted. Tears of joy, along with hugs and kisses, <laughs> flowed through the crowd as our American heroes set foot back home. And Lenise, you were right. It was definitely a very touching ceremony. You mm -hmm. can see right there. I mean, uh, it, the, the emotions were flowing, needless yeah. to say. Yeah, well, it's hard not to get caught up in that because right. you know what they sacrificed by having to leave. Mm -hmm. And the one gentleman hadn't even met his son I know. yet. Right. Hard to believe. And you got oh. more of this reunion. We on. do, we do. That was just a little bit of it. They rushed all the soldiers inside, and then they had a bigger reunion inside the armory. We'll see more of that at 530. Well, we certainly thank them for all that they do, and we look forward to that report, Michael. Yep. And up next on Fox 10 News, we're going to introduce you to two women who have succeeded for Enhancement Brigade as it returned home. And Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brandon was there for the reunion that so many were excited about. He joins us now in the studio with more on that. Michael? Bob and Lenise, it was exciting to say the least. These are, there are really no words to, to, to describe the feeling you get when you see these brave men and women return to their loved ones. Today was the day. Welcome home! A day of homecoming. With a police escort, along with the Patriot Riders. Yay, Jimmy! Woo -woo! Welcome back! Buses pulled up outside Fort Whiting, where 189 men and women of the Alabama National Guard greeted their loved ones. Oh, man, I've missed you so much. After a prayer, national anthem, and a few words of encouragement, the soldiers were released. Suzanne Lowry greeted her husband along with her three daughters and newborn baby boy. Timothy Isaac was born just four weeks ago. 
father, Sergeant Timothy Lowry, has not seen his child until now. It's good. I mean, it's, I've been waiting a while now, so it's good. Uh, my first boy. Caroline Williams eagerly awaited her husband's return with a sign. I want that special second first kiss again. I, I think I'm more excited today than I was on our wedding day. Needless to say, she got what she wished for. Words can't describe that. Uh, I've been away from her too long and it's just good to be back in her arms. It's great to be home, obviously. Um, it's a, always an emotional thing. Um, you know, a lot of things happen while we're away, while we're over there, and to our families back home. So it's it's always good to get home and reconnect and see them and uh, close the loop and uh, spend time with your family. Well, the families will now return to their normal lives after some much needed rest and relaxation. For more on the return of the 226, visit our website, fox10tv.com. That's perfect. They came back on Valentine's Day. Certainly was.